Hi friends, hope you are fine. Today let us have a quick journey into the plant cell to understand different structures or organelles within the plant cell within 5 minutes. Let's begin with nucleus. As plant cell is a eukaryotic cell, it is having a true nucleus. Nucleus, as you see, is a double membrane bound organelle where DNA is present. Inside nucleus, there is an RNA rich region which is called as nucleolus that is involved in the synthesis of ribosomal subunits. Nucleus has nuclear pores that helps in exchange of materials between cytoplasm. The next organelle that is attached to the nuclear membrane is the RER or rough endoplasmic reticulum. As you see here, this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is called as rough as it is studded with ribosomes. Endoplasmic reticulum are interconnected membranous sacs and the function is secretory protein synthesis as ribosomes are present. It is also involved in post-translational modification of proteins. The next organelle is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. As you see, this is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. In smooth endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes are absent. The function is lipid biosynthesis and also involved in drug detoxification or detoxification of toxic chemicals. The next organelle is the central vacuole. In plant cell, often the vacuole is the largest organelle. It accounts nearly 70 to 80 percent of the total space. It is much larger than the nucleus. Vacuole is a single membrane bound organelle. The membrane is called as tonoplast and the function is water balance. It is also involved in intracellular digestion in plant cells lysosomes are absent the role of lysosomes that is intracellular digestion is carried out by this vacuole it is also involved in keeping toxic chemicals pigments etc next organelle is the golgi apparatus and this is the golgi apparatus these are flattened membranous sacs and the function it is a sorting center of the cell once the protein reaches the RER, it is moved to the Golgi apparatus where it is sorted out and is dispatched to different sites inside the cell. In plants, Golgi apparatus is having a special role. It is also involved in deposition of cell wall materials that is primary and secondary wall materials. These vesicles pinch us off and deposits cell wall materials during cell wall formation. And the next organelle is the ribosome. Ribosome are complex RNA protein complexes, molecular machines that is involved in protein synthesis. In plant cell, ribosomes are seen attached to RER and also present freely distributed in the cytoplasm. And the next organelle is the mitochondrion. Mitochondrion, as you see, it is a double membrane bound organelle with DNA, therefore it is called a semi-autonomous organelle and the function is ATP synthesis, producing energy for all activities of the cell. It is also involved in photorespiration in plants. And the next organelle is a chloroplast. Chloroplast is also a double membrane bound semi-autonomous organelle just like mitochondria with its own DNA and the function is photosynthesis. It is the organelle that is involved in converting light energy into chemical energy thus making the plants as the producers supplying food to all other organisms. And the next organelle is the peroxisome. Peroxisome is also a single membrane bound organelle. It is actually a compartment for oxidation reactions where H2O2, hydrogen peroxide is generated and degraded. The enzyme involved is catalase that converts H2O2 into water and oxygen. It's also a site of producing two phytohormones, 
ഐ എ എ ഇൻഡോളസെറ്റിക് ആസിഡ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് അനോക്സിൻ ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ജാസ്മോണിക് ആസിഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് പ്രൈമറിലി ഇൻവോൾഡ് ഇൻ പ്ലാൻ ഡിഫൻസ് പെറോക്സിസോം ഇസ് ഓൾസോ ഇൻവോൾഡ് ഇൻ ഫോട്ടോ റെസ്പിരേഷൻ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഇസ് എ സൈറ്റോ സ്കെലറ്റൺ സൈറ്റോ സ്കെലറ്റൺ ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദ സ്കെലറ്റൽ ഫ്രെയിം വർക്ക് ഓഫ് അവർ ബോഡി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ സ്കെലറ്റൽ ഫ്രെയിം വർക്ക് ഓഫ് ദ സെൽ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് മെയ്ഡ് അപ്പ് ഓഫ് മൈക്രോ ട്യൂബ്യൂൾസ് ആൻഡ് ആക്ട് ഇൻ മൈക്രോ ഫിലമെന്റ്സ് ദ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഈസ് ഇറ്റ് പ്രൊവൈഡ്സ് എ സ്ട്രക്ചറൽ ഫ്രെയിം വർക്ക് ഓഫ് ദ സെൽ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൾസോ ഇൻവോൾഡ് ഇൻ സെൽ ഗ്രോത്ത് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇൻ സെൽ ഡിവിഷൻ സെൽ എക്സ്പാൻഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഇൻട്രസെല്ലർ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഓർ പൊസിഷനിങ് ഓഫ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഓർഗനൽസ് വിത്ത് ഇൻ ദ സെൽ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഓർഗനൽ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ സെൽ മെമ്പ്രെയിൻ ഓർ പ്ലാസ്മ മെമ്പ്രെയിൻ it is made up of phospholipids and proteins and this membrane is selectively permeable and it maintains a constant internal environment within the cytoplasm and the final structure is a cell wall in plants there is cell wall which is made up of cellulose hemicellulose and pectin the function is mechanical support and it also provides shape to the cell these three structures the central vacuole chloroplast and cell wall is absent in animal cells in animal cells if vacuoles are present it will be very small and that is about plant cell structure and function if you find this video useful please consider subscribing this channel thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforyou.com